In today's tutorial we are going to do the teeny weeny crochet caps. This pattern is available in four different sizes. We have in the very back we have the up to three month size. We then have a newborn size just like this. We also have a five to six pound preemie size and we also have the preemie preemie of three to four pounds. You can see when you lay them all out you can see that they are different sizes and they are also different heights. The pattern that we're doing today will be listed on the title of this video. In today's tutorial we're going to do the five to six pound teeny weeny crochet hat and this is a preemie version and this is a four and a half millimeter size crochet hook or a US size seven. You can get a total of ten of these hats out of one Karen Simply Soft yarn ball. So as promised this pattern comes in four different sizes and all of the sizes are available in this very easy to follow pattern instructions. So we have preemie sizes of three to four pounds. We have another preemie size of five to six pounds. We have a newborn of seven to nine pounds and then an up to three months of tw 10 to 12 pounds. Now the title of this video is indicating what size that we're gonna be working on today. So it says right here in the instructions on how many hats. So it says you see how there's different colors. Those are what's indicating in the instructions as we go out through throughout this particular idea. So we're gonna start off in the instructions for example and if we're doing the preemie size of three to four pounds it'll say you do all of this and then it says three to four pounds only. So this is only gonna apply when you're working on this one and then you will see in other instructions of what you need to do. So if size is five to six, seven to nine, ten to 12 all is here instead. So you just have to watch these particular colors. Now for this particular kind of project it says that for one hat one ball will make 15 hats and then the next size of five to six month uh, sorry five to six pounds of the preemie it's 10 hats. The next size of newborn it'll be nine hats and then up to three months you can get six hats out of one Karen Simply Soft yarn ball. So without further ado let's start working on this project together and uh, let's begin now. So let's begin with our Karen Simply Soft yarn. Let's create a slip knot and this is for beginners as well. So the first three rounds on any one of the four sizes are identical to each other and let's begin to do that now. So here's our slip knot on the hook. Remember that it never counts as one. So we need to start at the top of the hat and work our way down to the forehead of the child. So let's uh, begin. We're going to chain three. So remember the one on the hook never counts as one. So one, two, and three and what it's asking us to do is do eight half double crochets in the third chain from the hook which is basically the first one that we started with. So let's just wrap the hook going into the first chain, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, pull through all three. That's one of eight. So let's continue to do that. So wrap in, pull through, pull through all three. So that was number two. Okay and that was three. Now this straggler here, see how I'm just laying it down on top so that it covers over the ring? It's just a way of uh, securing that without ever having to worry about it. So that was five, six, seven and eight. So what you need to do, it says here, join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet. Well we had to do eight. So just looking back, if you're confused, count backwards. So you got one underneath. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. It's right there. So if you're ever confused in what you're looking at, just count backward at this point and join it with the slip stitch and that's the center ring. Let's move along to round number two. So we wanna start off with chaining of two and what we have to just do is we go uh, just chain two, one and two and into the same stitch right underneath you want to uh, half double crochet two times. So one and two. You will notice in the instructions that the chaining of two in any starting of the rounds does not count as a stitch. So just don't count that as a stitch. So it's not included as a half double crochet. So we're gonna put two half double crochets into each stitch going all the way around. Now if you're thinking about this, how many stitches are you gonna go all the way around? It's a total of eight. Okay, so we're just adding two half double crochets into each one going all the way around. Right in the very beginning here is where you need to really worry about your stitch counts to get them right. So 
So at the end what I want to do is that I want to count each group of two and there should be a total of eight when I've done that. So I can either just count it out loud as I'm going here or I can just count it when I'm done. I think there's seven here because I still have one left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's my last one here. So you probably thought okay well there if you're a new crocheter there, there was actually two. This one is extending into the first one so that's why it doesn't count. So we want to join this with the top of the beginning half double crochet to finish that off and that was round number two. So let's move along to round number three. Round number three we're going to start off by chaining two. Remember that does not count as a stitch and in the next one available to you so right directly underneath you're gonna have two half double crochets. So one and two and then in the next one that we have here it says one half double crochet in the next one. So it's just gonna be by itself. So the repeat pattern on this entire round is that one of them which is this next one is gonna have two half double crochets and the next one's just gonna have one. Okay so we're just increasing size. So the next one is gonna have two and then the next one's gonna have one. So please do that same configuration going all the way around for round number three. So then coming up all the way around in the end of round number three the last one should be one single crochet by itself. So and how do I know that's to be true? We started off with two and then one, two and one, two and one. So the very last one should just be a one. Okay because the next one is a two. So once you get that done just join it to the beginning half double crochet that we started with. I just went into a gap by accident. Make sure it is to an actual stitch not to a gap space because it'll appear very obvious if it's separating. So that is round number three. So now what we're going to do uh, is that we're going to move on to the size that we're doing in this particular video in order to do the rest of this. So for this size of five to six pounds we have uh, two growth rounds and then it's a standard going all the way to the end of the, the hat. So let's uh, begin the first size uh, that we're going to. So we've done rounds rounds one to through three. Now we're ready for the next round. So here we go. This is the fourth round. So we're gonna chain up two and we're gonna half double crochet into the one right underneath and you're gonna half double crochet twice. So one and two and now this time what we have to do is that the next two um, stitches will be each one half double crochet each. So the repeat pattern on this particular round is that the next one will have two half double crochets and then the next two stitches will be one double crochet each. Okay so that's all you have to do for this round. So the next one is two into the same one and then the next two are one half double crochet by itself. So please do that going all the way around. So as I come up all the way around I will I am left with the three stitches. I actually have just done one. This one has two in it and then the final has one each. Now how do I know that's correct? Well I know that's correct because I put two into the first one and then one and one. So when I go to finish this round this should be ending up in one and one as my final. Okay so the pattern just keeps repeating all the way to the end. So for example if you think that you had two double crochets to go or two half double crochets to go into the final then something is wrong with your counts earlier on in this revolution. So let's just join it to the top of the beginning half double crochet and move up to the round number five which is only for the five and six pounds which is this size. Let's begin that next. So round number five we're gonna chain up two and this time it's one half double crochet into the same one underneath and it says to put in um, um, into the next six as well. So there's gonna be seven stitches in a row with just one half double crochet. So I have one and two already and three and four, five, six and seven and then the next one has two in it. So the difference between this one and the last revolution is that we started off with the two right in the beginning and this one is near to the, has the two at you know partially way in. Uh, so let's do this again. So the next one are seven in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. 
and then the next one has two. Now why do you think that our designer would do that intentionally? Like it would just automatically change like that? And I'll tell you the reason for it is that you really cannot see the growth of a hat when the designer moves where you put those two in in order to have the growth. So that's kind of the why they do it. So we keep that same pattern. So seven in a row and then the next one has two, seven in a row and the next one has two and that'll take you to the other side of this and we'll conclude that off together. So as I come up all the way around I just have one more stitch to the left and in keeping at the counts there's two in this one as well. So that makes sense because we started off with just one in each and then there was two over here. So then the final should end up with the seven in order to keep it in balance anyway. So if you're keeping counts it'll work out. So we're just gonna join it to the top at the beginning half double crochet. So the remainder of this hat is just very easy in order to do and now we just have to earn our weight. This is the other size that's smaller. So now we just have to make all of the next rounds all the same and you'll see that it will continuously grow and then form this shape. And in this size that what we need to do is that we need to get this to be four inches before we do the final single crochet. So let's uh, begin to do this next and what we're going to do in every round now going forward we're no longer going to increase we're just gonna maintain what's already there. So we're gonna chain two in one single or one half double crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. That's it. So it's slightly bigger than the other hat of the three to four pounds that you just saw. So this is gonna be taller and it's also gonna be a little bit wider. Okay, so each one of these hats, there's four different sizes are different and it's based on rounds um, uh, four and five. So just continue to do that. I'll show you how to join it once again and start your next round but it's just one half double crochet in each stitch going all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way around. It's just one half double crochet in each and then I just join it to the top of the beginning half double crochet. So to start each round is just one and two and then one half double crochet into each round. So you're gonna see it start to really form a hat really soon. So what you need to do is that you need to fold this hat in half and when the distance from the top here to the brim here it becomes four inches you know that you're ready then for the brim. So we got a little bit of way to go before we get there if you're looking at it here. So that's our goal. Just keep going round and around until you get your four inches and then come back here. I'll show you how to do the final round in order to make this conclusion. So if you're doing this one and you've done the preemie size of three to four pounds you'll notice that there's only a difference of six stitches in every revolution. So it's really not that big of a difference for stitch counts. Um, it's just gonna be slightly bigger and slightly taller. So I'll see you back here and we'll do the brim together. So a few minutes ago I left you here and I was just kind of whistling Dixie to myself and <laughs> I almost actually went oversized. So it's only four inches between the top and to the brim and now let's finish off then do the final. So this round we're gonna chain one and it's one single crochet into each one of the half double crochets that go all the way around. And what I want to do is that I'll take you to the end. I'll show you how to finish off with the darn needle. Um, I have to give you a word of caution here. Really take care of those loose ends especially if you're donating it. Uh, this is a preemie size. Chances are the parent will be distraught that the child is in an incubator or etc. So just that make sure you take care of your uh, tail end so that they never fall out because that's the last thing you want a parent to th be thinking about when they're receiving your gift. So let's just uh, meet back here in just a moment. I'll show you how to finish these off so you have no tail ends hanging out. So as you get all the way around remember that it is one single crochet in each going all the way around and we're just going to join it to the beginning single crochet with a slip stitch. Okay. So now I want to take the scissors and cut about a foot length of my strand that I was working with and I want to pull that strand through the loop. Now what I want to do is grab a darning needle. Okay, a nice sharp one and I want to feed this strand through the needle. Now the yarn tail can never fall out if it's weaved, woven in um, three times. So just what I, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back in the same direction from which I just came right underneath. So don't put it on top just put it underneath for about an inch going across. Just gliding it through the fiber. Okay, just pull it kind of nice and snug so it sits down. Then go in the other direction but go in a different path because if you go through the same fibers then it's gonna fall out. Okay, that just fell off my hook but I can still pull it and, or it fell off my needle. When I first started teaching crochet I always referred to my hook as a needle. <laughs> <laughs> Should have saw the comments on that. So and then I want to go back in the other direction for a final time. Okay, so it's in there three different way times. So what's gonna happen is that regardless of what happens to this project it can never stretch in three different directions at one time and all you're just gonna do is then 
take it inside out the strand that you were working on in the beginning you can just cut it right down because I had you hide it underneath and therefore you have a size that's five to six pounds. This is for a preemie and you can compare it to the other sizes that we are working on. So this was the four to six. So you see it's slightly different. See? Slightly bigger. Okay? In all avenues. So it's slightly taller and it's slightly wider. So this is how you do this particular hat. Good luck on that and we'll see you again real soon here on thecrochetcrowd.com. Until next time. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye bye.